back to school wardrobe essentials. These are just items that I would personally bring if I was packing for college. And I wanna give a quick shout out to Hollister for sponsoring a portion of today's video. As you guys will see throughout the video, they have a ton of really good pieces that are perfect for back to school season. And if you wanna pick anything up, I'm gonna link everything in the description box with sizes. And without further ado, let's just get into the first category. Starting off, we have basics, and I have these two from Hollister. They're just basic tees, as you can see in black and white, and it actually came in a two-pack, which I thought was a really good deal. Basics are just wardrobe essentials in general, not just for school. It doesn't have to be this specific cut if you don't like baby tees, but it can fit whatever is your personal preference, so like crop tops, body suits, long sleeves, sleeveless. But I just think it's really important to have basic pieces because they're really versatile, so you can create a ton of different outfit combinations. This covers oversized tees, baby tees, sweatshirts. So this one is a little baby tee. It's casual, it's easy to throw on a pair with jeans, sweatpants, cargo pants. The perfect length, it's not a crop top, but it's not a full length top. And then I have another graphic tee. This one is an oversized graphic tee, so it's perfect for those of you who prefer a more loose fitting outfit. I'm trying to show different options for the categories because I know everyone has a different style and preference. And then another option is this graphic crew neck, another common college wardrobe item which is just comfy clothes, sweatshirts. Sometimes the graphic ones are a little bit more fun than the plain ones. So this one is another graphic crew neck, just to show you guys a different option. Super soft, it's fleece lined in the inside. So continuing on with the comfy clothes, this one is just a zip up hoodie, super comfortable. You can throw it on over tank tops, tube tops, if it's not dress code appropriate for those of y'all in high school. I know when I was in school, the classrooms were always freezing. So I would always just bring a zip up hoodie just in case I needed it. So this category is flared leggings, yoga pants, even just regular leggings. They're super comfortable and if you don't have time to think of an outfit, it's just easy to throw them on. I forgot to add on that I would also bring items that are like track pants, sweatpants, other comfy oversized fitting pants like that. So the next category is a wardrobe essential in general, not just for school, and that is denim. Hollister has a ton of different denim styles. The ones that I picked up are the dad jean, which is kind of like a more baggy fit. But if that's not your preference, they have everything from skinny jeans, flare jeans, boot cut, whatever you like. My recommendation would be just to bring one pair of your favorite denim in black, white, and blue. So I have this baggy style dad jean from Hollister. This is a high rise fit. And then another option from Hollister that I wanted to show you guys, this dad jean with a bunch of rips. I feel like Cargos is another great pant option when packing for college. I picked up these navy ones and it's the perfect casual outfit. I feel like you could just pair this with one of the basic baby tees that I mentioned and pair it with some sneakers. I love the way these fit. They're super comfortable and very lightweight. These are the same cargo pants, just in the green version. This one I got in the double zero regular length as opposed to the short length. I will say they're a little bit long on me. So if you're a similar height to me, definitely would recommend just sticking to the short length. So the next category is perfect for those days you feel like dressing up a bit more. So it is midi skirts and I guess midi dresses kind of fit into the same category. This one is from Hollister. It's this midi skirt in this satin material. It's so comfortable. You don't have to worry about getting dress coated or even if you don't have a dress coat, it's just a little bit more modest than a really short mini skirt. This kind of covers printed bottoms, trousers, just nicer style pants as opposed to jeans or leggings or sweats. I have these plaid ones from Hollister, so soft and comfortable. If I ever wanted to dress up in school, both high school and college, I personally just went for patterned bottoms like this. Along with this, I would definitely recommend maybe bringing a pair of plain trousers just in case you do have a school presentation. So the last clothing category is outerwear. And this covers everything from button ups, flannels, jackets, cardigans. And I think this not only is perfect in case your classroom is on the colder side, but also if you do have a dress code or you just prefer to be a little bit more modest in a classroom setting. So first up is bomber jackets. I feel like this is a classic piece. This one's from Hollister, it's this navy one. It's super soft, it's fleece line. Another jacket that I personally would recommend is some sort of leather jacket. I think I styled this a couple different times in my back to school outfits TikTok. And I think I paired this with those plaid Hollister pants. Like like I mentioned button ups and flannels. So this flannel is from Hollister, especially with fall season coming up. I feel like flannels are definitely a wardrobe essential piece. Along with the flannel, any sort of button up, so pinstripe button ups, basic white ones like this, you can just throw it on, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. Of course, cardigans are another option for some sort of outerwear to throw on on top. 
I know this does not fit most high school dress codes, but in college, I'm pretty sure they didn't care. At least mine didn't. I feel like it's the perfect accessory to throw on, especially if you don't want to do your hair and you don't want to put makeup on. It basically covers your face and your hair, so you're good to go. I personally liked tote bags, but of course bring whatever you prefer, whether that's a backpack, tote bag, Moving on to the shoes. First up is just a pair of comfy sandals. These are Birkenstocks and then another one that kind of looks like Birkenstocks. It's just a platform a double strap sandal. And I feel like stuff like this, it's easy to just throw on and run out the door. Also very comfortable and easy to walk in around campus. The next shoe that I would bring is a pair of loafers. And I think this is just like super versatile. You can style them in a ton of different ways. Regardless of if you're in school or not, I think it's a wardrobe essential. And then of course, I would definitely recommend bringing sneakers. I just have a couple different favorites. So this one is my personal favorite. This would be my go-to in school. It's comfortable to walk in, fairly versatile and easy to match. And then another classic sneaker that matches a ton of different stuff is the Nike Air Force Ones. I feel like any sort of white sneaker goes with everything. So those are all my back to school wardrobe essential pieces. I really do hope that this video was somewhat helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.